Okay, hey, hello everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use DOSBox in Retrobox Emulation Station. So if you want to find some DOS, if you want to find the RetroArch uh, multi-platform emulation station, you can go to this website and download it. And um, when you get here, Go to downloads and go here if you have windows and i recommend that you get if you if you have a 64-bit cpu get this one if you have a 32-bit cpu get this one but in this day and age most uh, computers have 64-bit processors so you select select this one download it and put it into a retro put it into a folder in your computer for me, I put it, I put it right here. I put all the files that I got from there, unzipped it, put it into this directory. And if you want to find some games, old DOS games, you can go to uh, My Abandoned Where. They have a lot of uh, MS DOS games here. Some of them you have, you will have to pay for, like the ones with dollar signs. But most of them should be free. You could also find DOS games here as well. Find Bad Blood. Here it is. You could find games here in disk format. You could use them in disk format or you could use them in file format like you would get them in uh, My Abandoned Where. So now let's get started. So first thing you have to do is you just start RetroArch after you download it and put it into a folder. If you want full screen, it's Control and F. Um, so first thing you would have to do is download a core. So you go to main menu, down, load core, download a core. The one I will be using today is DOS box core. And you just go to the directory where your DOS games are at, wherever that may be for you. For me, it's here. run a game called Crime Wave. And uh, for uh, DOS games, the, exec the files that you use to run programs would be .exe, .com, or .bat. So this is cw.exe, so I'm gonna run that with DOSBox Core. And I'm going to show you a few things here. So, go press F1 to go to the main menu. You want to configure the controls. You can configure the controls to work on your controller. So, I'm going to go to options here. Go to gamepad mapping. So in this game, the arrow keys are for moving up, down, left, right, or whatever. So I set it to that. So up. This is down. Left. Right. And for this game... The controls are like this. Z is for duck. Space bar is for rocket. Left control is for shooting your gun. Left alt is for jumping. So that's how I set it up. So you have to go in here, press A, and you have to 
adjust it like that. Start, start is enter as always. So just go to enter and you just set it to whatever you need to get the game to run and then press B and get out of here and go to controls, go to manage remap controls and you could, you could save it here and you should be able to access it and you could load different ones which I've made and um, I'm going to start playing the game so first thing you want to do is press scroll lock on your on your keyboard so this is game focus on so it's not going to interrupt with uh, the controls on the game So I could play this game with either my the controller that I configured or I can play it with the keyboard as well. It doesn't really matter. It's your preference. If you want to play with the keyboard, you can play with the keyboard. You want to play with the control pad, you can play with the control pad. these long introductions can't just skip out of it fortunately all right and another thing I want to show you I'm gonna press scroll lock again so I can access the menu um, you want to go in here and change some stuff like go to input go to hotkeys uh, usually the space bar is for like fast forward. So this was originally set at that. But since this thing conflicts with the gameplay. I uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Because we could just toggle this off right. Resume. So if I press scroll lock again. Game focus is on. If I press spacebar, it doesn't matter. If I press game focus off, press spacebar, you can see that fast forward thing on the top right corner. So I'm going to press scroll lock again. Scroll lock. I'm playing the game. With my controller. So now I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to press. You could also set it so that you have a hotkey, which I should have done earlier. Go to input, go to uh, hotkeys. For me, I selected select start. I like that button the best. So if you press select and start on, on your controller at the same time, you should be able to get to this menu. Okay, now let's run another game. game that requires a mouse and a, a mouse basically like in game so 
This is SP Oper no, it's called Wolfec EXE. That's how you run the game. For mouse games, they should just work without any type of configuration, which I'll show you here. I'm going to press scroll lock to game focus again. So as you can see, the mouse game just works. And if I want to get out, it's select and start. So I'm out. I could close it like that. Look here, close content. Try right, Budokan. Okay, that's the COM file. So I want to configure the controls for this. I'm going to press F1, get out of here. Option. New map controls. Say start is going to be space bar this time. The action button is going to be, I think it's right shift for this game. B. For the other ones, I don't think they're going to be functional. You just need one button to run this game. That looks good. So I want to go to controls. And I want to save this. And it's saved as budo.rmp. So that's for Budokan. Zoom. So I'm using the controller right now. Press scroll lock again. So I'm using the keyboard as well. In this game, you have to use um, the number pad. It makes it a little bit more difficult to use with a controller because you can't. You can't move without. You have to press three on the number pad to move forward, one on the number pad to move back. So I guess for this game, the keyboard is probably the best option for you. You do want to play this. It really depends on the game if you can use a control pad or not. But for most games, you should be able to. So, jumping up backwards is number seven on the control pad. Jumping forward is nine on the control pad. So, this game was meant to be played on a control pad.
obviously. Okay, let me get out of here. So I'm gonna press scroll. I'm gonna press select start. To get out of here. Close content. And that's how you could run and configure games for um, DOSBox. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And